All right, we're live. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Monday. Monday, Monday. <laughs> oh, oh, hear me talk. That's talking. Well, the uh, Sheila. Sheila. A year ago today, you were here. <laughs> oh. It's very sad. We will we will see each other again soon. Hmm. Um, to share it online. Jennifer's here. Karen's here. Hello, Karen. Hello, friends. How are we doing? How are we doing today? Angela was just showing me she got a beautiful dress that she is wearing for one dollar. What? It is the thrift of the week. Sorry. I don't think any of you can beat this dress for one dollar. <laughs> it's like it's and it's it's full length and it's it's fully lined and it has pockets. <laughs> it's pockets. Pretty great. Uh, it was perfect for my office because we're in that weird transitional phase, you know, in the AC where like they can't decide to keep it hot. Mm. Or turn on the air conditioning. So they're doing both? So so basically it's well, actually my office is generally always just cold. Yeah. It's like freezing. So mm -hmm. layers and things. But with this dress, since I had sleeves and it was long, I didn't have to wear my jacket all day. So it was the perfect the perfect dress for the office temperature. Mm-hmm. Well, I love the sleeve. Hey, Amy. I love a good sleeve. I love a sleeve. Oh, yeah, especially with, you know, the little. Yes. Love. It's swishy. It's swishy. <laughs> hey, Amy. Hi. How's your Monday? And Mary's here, too. Uh, did we say hi to her already? <laughs> I, I said I said hi to her. I don't know if she heard me. I don't know if I did. But I, think, I think Monday is Amy's editing day. Ah, uh, have you been editing videos, making that content that I have been avoiding? <laughs> I have been trying and failing. Ah, uh, but you know what opens starting next Sunday? A flea market. Our flea market. Yay! You're gonna have to. Get there early and get all the good stuff that's gonna go fly out of your um your mall, your mall out of my out of my case. Your case, yes. I might actually set up and get rid of stuff one day. Mm -hmm. I might I might go to the flea market and try and unload some things. That's smart because I mean, as with all of us, usually like you know, as time passes, there's always gonna be things that you know, you are ready to let go of, or you just need to make like, you know, in your storage area, you need to make room for new inventory. So I think that's, that's great. You can My goal is unload the old inventory and get some fresh merchandise. Yes. And like, or maybe, I don't know, would y'all be interested? In, oh, I, I don't want to ship it. <laughs> I'd I'd be like I could do retract, just I retract could, the thought. Do a cleared sale, but then I was like, oh, because let me tell you, my back is not a fan of packing boxes mm -hmm. at all. It's mm -hmm. just because it puts you in that it, like weird, like standing but hunchy situation mm -hmm. that. It's the same. It's the same position that laundry puts me in and dishes put me in. Mm -hmm. and my back does not like that position because my back tries to bend, but mm -hmm. my back does not bend. I know, and my back does bend, but <laughs> but even still, standing at a table trying to pack gives me back pain. So I can imagine what it does to you. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, but we are on week three of my new routine, and. I made it happen again today. I went to the post office before work today again, even though I did kind of sleep in. But 7.15, is 7.15 really sleeping in from 7? No. No. And I, and I made it to work on time, too. So, <laughs> I mean, 
Things are happening. Things are falling into place. It's how it's meant to be. Finally. Yeah. All good signs. Yay. Bravo. <laughs> Two weeks. Okay. What do they say? It takes like, what, 21 days to make a habit? So we're at 15. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back pain from the woman sitting on the floor. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> For me sitting on the floor, it's my hips that hurt. Not my yeah. back necessarily. For me, it's my knees. Um, I used to be fine. I I I I like I've always liked sitting cross-legged on the floor, but um now my knees start to get not just stiff, they just kind of like are like they don't want they they freeze. My my legs, my knees get frozen. And they and it hurts. So it's not it's not just like they get locked, but it gets it's painful. Hi, Amy. For We're talking about aches and pains. Does any time like I'm in one position for too long, either my hips or my knees, they all get angry. Unless I'm laying flat in my bed. Oh my gosh, my, my bed, my my bed just is the bed. hugs me like a cloud. That's why it's so hard to get up in the morning. Oh my gosh, I was telling um, Yeah, I was just telling Colleen, Cookies for Vintage. I was telling her, I said, I have to tell you, my favorite place is in the bed. And you know this. I mean, as soon as I'm done on a stream, I'm either going to the kitchen or I'm going to my bed. <laughs> it's just the truth. <laughs> Yeah, I, like I, I have to put off going there or I, I just like, it just like absorbs. I've made a joke to multiple people that my bed is some kind of strange gravity well <laughs> because it just like <sighs> It's uh, what do they call it? Yeah. It's like some sort of a dimensional vector. <laughs> it's like wormhole. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, well, my neck is better now, but the other day I was like, why does my neck hurt? And I was like, oh, I just uh, slept around. Yeah, I will say that, yeah, the the biggest pains I get from not sleeping right, it's all in the neck. Yeah. Like bad, too. But luckily, I have a, a masseuse on call uh, <laughs> that, I can, that I can cry to. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else happened this weekend I went for my first attempt at a hike and I went oh almost nine tenths of a mile Good and job. it wasn't it wasn't fully flat either so I mean I took my time but, yeah. but it was a new to me trail and it was a pretty easy trail so I'm excited to get to the end of it because at the end of it is a waterfall that I didn't know existed and is really close to my house. You have a waterfall that you never knew existed. Yeah, there's a waterfall wow. in a in a city park. Cool. Like it's a man-made waterfall, but it's still pretty. It's still a waterfall. But let me tell you, I cut my forsythia and it fought back. I it drew blood. <laughs> Like, I've got scratches here. I have scratches all over my hands. That's all from the forsythia. And then I have a picture because, like, I I think it, like, grows. And then, like, it can, like, shoot down into the ground. Like, it can have, it, it seems kind of viney. Does uh -huh. that make sense? Yes. And so I would cut it at the top, but then it would be, like, stuck in the ground. And I'm... <laughs> So I'm trying to pull it. And at one point, like a branch that I cut got like all wrapped up in my hair. Oh. And then last night I went to bed. And I was like, what is in my hair? And there was like four flowers. <laughs> so the Forsythia fought back. Wow. But well, I, I'm glad you won. Even if it fought back, I'm glad you won. And that's <gasps> Colleen. <laughs> I miss you, lady. Uh -huh. uh, but speaking, um, so that's when I, I burnt some of it afterward when I did my s'more mm. experiment. Naps are the best. 
See, I can't, like for me, a true nap is you actually fall asleep and I can't do that. I can rest. Like I can close my eyes and be horizontal. You can rest your eyes. I rest my, I rest my eyes, but I don't really nap. You know, I don't usually fall asleep. No, I can fall asleep. My, my problem is sleeping too much for a nap. I like, know you like can just 20, 20 to 30 minutes. Like that's good. But I, if I fall asleep, I can sleep for two to three hours I know. and then I wake up and I'm like, what day is it? I know. <laughs> I, I do not encounter that phenomenon at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see you and Amy, you and Amy are same, same, mm -hmm. especially a moving vehicle. Oh, <laughs> it is like. <laughs> knocks me out <sighs> thank you thank you jennifer i feel bad for me too if i could give you some of my narcolepsy i absolutely would <laughs> <laughs> uh, narcolepsy <laughs> <in the bottle. laughs> step right up <laughs> uh. do we want to dive we're just chatting we're tonight y'all yeah we're just chatting we don't have a like main and, history and I, if, if i do what i think i'm doing for next week it's it's going to be a very interesting history highlight it's going Ooh. to be quirky so all right not, not our standard but i i find it fascinating so mm -hmm. let's hope i can get enough material yeah if not it'll just be an extended segment <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We will we will enjoy it, whatever, however it manifests. Um, okay, so we're starting with a titillating tablescape that I grabbed from a, a blog. And yeah, I mean, the main thing that grabbed me was it, it was a literary theme. So, you know, books uh, were, you know, the main theme on the table, but it was the roses that I had to share. <laughs> I don't know if this is an idea that we have seen before, but I don't remember it. And it's adorable. I, I had a friend who had a bouquet of all book flowers. Oh, really? Page flowers, yeah. I don't think I've seen this. We're just the little flowers in the teacup. I'm like, oh, Angela's going to love this. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, it's out on a patio table and it's, you know, fairly, they don't even have a, a tablecloth. But the main point was it was like teacups, books, and then these adorable roses made out of the pages of some, I guess, old. And Jennifer scrap. Said she has a table. She's made a table runner like that out of the pages. Oh, her, her book club. Well, like I've seen. I think you did. You grab one where it was like placemats, or was that me? I think it was a table runner. It was oh, similar. yeah. All right. I like oh, it. Catherine Young can make the flowers. She can make these. Catherine, I think we need a crafty night. I mean, we can all bring paper and hang out. Yeah, I, I, I think these are adorable. Just like the, the, the rose buds, the little baby's breath, the teacup. It's just, it's just right. Mm -hmm. So I did a tablescape, but I was thinking, you know, spring. You know one animal that people just don't think about? <laughs> I don't think about skunks in the spring. No. I do when I smell them. Mm. So I was like, are there skunk tablescapes out there? And I found some skunk themed items. Like a giant skunk tablecloth. So well, it's, it's definitely it's really, doable. It's doable, but... <laughs> That's a first. I love you. <laughs> I mean, they're cute, but you yeah, know. <laughs> but I was there for it. I'm like, I'm open. I'm open to the idea. Any idea. <laughs> That's why I was like, I was like, I was to get to two and then we'll jump into the April Fool's. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I just wasn't sure I could keep a straight face. <laughs> you got me. You got me good. Skunk escape. <laughs> I love that, Amy. <laughs> That's great. 
<laughs> but I imagine like, well, you being in Colorado, you could have like pot themed skunk tablescape. Oh, we, or we could have, I mean, when we first moved here, there were a lot of skunks. And yeah. We were actually, there were so many squirrels. We were having issues with the squirrels and we had a um, trap to trap the squirrels. And Scott went out and it trapped a baby skunk. So then he had to try to release the baby skunk out of the drum without getting sprayed. So my, my dad has a really funny story about descending a skunk in his early days as a veterinarian. Listen, so I, this started as a joke, right? <laughs> April Fool's. Like, there are actually a bunch of little, like, birthday parties. What do they say? Like, little stinker. Like, oh, first yeah. birthday parties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, okay. But then you could just, like, do a general woodland theme. And then as I was going down the skunk rabbit hole, <laughs> Budscape, <laughs> <laughs> um, then I was like, you just take, like, a woodland theme and just throw skunks in it. And I found this tablescape, and I thought it was adorable. That is adorable. So. Uh, it's So basically, they're supposed to be the spotty mushrooms. Yes. Spotty mushrooms on the for the cupcake. Yeah. And then I really like this little fairy terrarium bell jar situation that was on um, one of the back tables. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they have owls, but you could just, you just put skunks there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead, skunks and shrooms. Yes. I mean, <laughs> high times. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway, but that's all. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody. A happy April Fool. <laughs> Give clothespins as party favors. <laughs> that's adorable. That's adorable. I love but, it. It just makes me think, uh, like, you know, Pepe Le Pew. Like, it could be, mm -hmm. he's one of my favorite cartoon characters. Yes. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> okay, so this was just some bathroom inspo that I found that I thought would be good to share. I really, I really liked the one on the left. The one on the right it was different. I said, that could be inspiring. Now, would that make me nervous to put my uh, cherished uh, jewels and necklaces on a wall where it would be open to, to a lot of uh, moisture? Yeah. Because <laughs> it does look like there's a shower in this bathroom. It's not just a powder room. Um, but I had never seen it before. And I, I do like to try to find things that you guys have never seen. <laughs> well. Well, I'll tell you what I love about the left-hand one, which I want to have in a bathroom someday, is that towel warmer mm -hmm. that attaches to the radiator pipes. Because mm -hmm. there's nothing like a warm towel. Well, you know, when, when you're cold, there is nothing like a warm towel, for sure. Yeah. Or if the room is cold, you get out of the hot shower, and you're like... <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> like my house. Anytime it's not summer out. Very pretty. I do like the mix of that blue on the right with the black and white floor. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's like a really dark Mediterranean sea blue. It's very pretty. Mm hmm Very pretty. So my inspiring interior is very different th this week. So this is maybe one of the most expensive cars ever made um and let me i i sent myself the uh information so i could get it right so this is a 1926 rolls royce it was built for an america um an american businessman of french ancestry at the time he was director of Woolworths in the 1920s. Oh, okay. And he was married to one of the Woolworth heiresses. Um, his name was Mr. Gask, G-A-S-Q-U-E. And at the time, like this car cost, um, like in today's money, it's like $500,000. Song crazy. Mm -hmm. and But from the outside, it doesn't look that crazy. 
But Mr. Gask went to the Louvre and he saw a sedan chair that belonged to Marie Antoinette. And he was like, I really like that. I want a car that looks like that. So that's what he did. Oh, wow. So he had, he paid somebody a whole lot of money to paint the roof. Yes. Uh, we're talking about like very fancy woods lining the interior. Yes, I mean tapestry. On and, and they the, did a good job. I mean, though that's that roof looks just like the paintings I saw at Versailles. Like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they did good homework. I mean, look at the tassels. You gotta love a tassel in a car. Why not? <laughs> wow. Um, but they only used it for 18 months and then he passed away and it went it went into storage from 1928 to like 1952. Wow. Um, but so this this is another view. And I'm pretty sure these little things here are probably for like smoking accoutrement mm. there. But then if you look at the front, it just looks like a cabinet. Mm -hmm. But that cabinet hides two additional seats and a bar <laughs> so here here the little the little additional seat comes down and uh -huh. then the bars in the middle mm -hmm. wow this this is what i want to pick me up forget a limo give me this <laughs> who owns this card <laughs> i don't know who owns it now I would um, think it would be in a museum, it's but probably it's probably it's, in a museum. Okay. How cool if it was privately owned and you could rent it for a day. Gorgeous. But did you see the Rams heads on the sofa? Oh, I'm seeing the from the back right there. Wait, let me go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. I tried to do a close up. No. You can kind of see it. it from the back. Yeah. yeah, I can see it. So crazy i was like oh i could go on a long car ride in there plenty of room to stretch out your feet or you yeah. could lay down oh, yeah anyway very nice very cool. different kind of bucket list coming up <laughs> right yeah i decided to share some more jewelry uh the last time i shared the beautiful bird brooch and i found uh some more amazing jewelry that uh, is something I would absolutely love to own. I, and I, these are for sale. I, I have these saved. I have these bookmarked, but look at the price. They can go on sale someday. <laughs> I mean, but they're beautiful. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Italian micro mosaics and the birds on the, the top. I mean, just the birds are awesome. So beautiful. And like they're I love, them. I love them. They're similar, but the colors are slightly different of the birds. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? Facebook keeps trying to talk me into taking a micro mosaic course. And I'm like, hmm. Stop it. <laughs> I, don't more, I don't need more crafts in my life. <laughs> Oh, but maybe someday. yeah, maybe someday. These are, these are stunning. I went, how big are they? You know, I, was it, I'm assuming they're probably not as big as I would want them to be, but I should, I, I can check. I can check. Uh, here, you go to your next thing. It looks like they're in like one of those ring holders so i i don't think they're that big yeah yeah let's see so this is a rustic reborn that popped up and it was a grandmother who wanted a reading nook for her daughter so she took one of the old armoires and made it a little narnia inspired seating bench that she can close when her granddaughter's not visiting Hold on. Okay, they're two and a half. They're a little over two and a half inches long. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, hold on. Let me. Oh my gosh, how adorable! Wait, like you? Yes. I wonder if I've seen this. It's adorable. 
is so adorable. I love the birch wallpaper that she put on the back, you know, mm -hmm. to give it that yes. forest feel. And she put a light in it. But this would this would be great. Like if you do want a special place for your either your nibblings or your grandkids. And because there's all that space under the bench, like you could hi Heidi. H hide all the toys and other accoutrement that they like to play with. Mm -hmm. And then just shut it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's always I kind of want it for me too, you know. But I mean, the thing is, is I know for a fact I would not stay in there because no. I, I like being horizontal. You know, like I can only sit up so, so long. Like I would want to, I would want one length, my length. Mm. If we lay it on its side. <laughs> Just like a cough. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Kind of always wanted one of those too. <laughs> sure, I'll have one someday. Anyway, there. <laughs> oh, oh, this is cute. So I found this picture on the left, and it had three um, toy accordions um, featured here on the top of the sh hutch or shelving. And I thought that is an adorable collection. Uh, I normally don't think of, and I, I was able to, I mean, it's one of those things I don't think of it. And so I actually searched and you can find them. Um, and they're not, you know, they're not out of reach or anything if, if someone wanted to find them, but isn't this cute? The accordions with the little puppet theater and then the, the theater's little, awesome. Yeah. It's just it's <laughs> something a little different, very cute, something I hadn't ever thought of, but when you see it together, it does have a great look to it there um my friend alice at sweet six in fairmont she has a little puppet theater that i was like oh i want that oh but the nieces and nephews are getting older so yeah i was able to restrain myself and i do but i have a tiny accordion it's it's just oh. like from the 60s mm -hmm. you know when i was looking for some mm -hmm. of those ones with the more paper pattern i actually saw a bunch of cute ones that were more like plastic mm -hmm. from the 60s that actually had great colors like that that's a whole yeah. other like I the 60s ones would be cute. i have it sitting in my dining room on one of my shelves and every time that my youngest niece comes over she's like can i play that toy and she'll, <laughs> she'll she'll play with it yeah I even found, you know, music on, for it online. So if she ever actually wants to learn to play it, we can figure it out. Okay. I I don't know if I've shared them before. Oh, I've seen, I've seen this. I don't know if we shared it. Because, like, it was in my saved, and I was like, I don't remember if I saved it or if I actually I shared it. It doesn't matter. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's great. It's cute to look at again. Yes, let's look at it again. So this is a couple, and they make these adorable dioramas. So the Fairy Forest is their Instagram handle. Um, and they put these little fae dioramas either in um, found objects or globes, lanterns, like you see here. And then they do a lot of foraging for the things that they put in but look at this little library uh, it's adorable like both of them like i just i want to live in these tiny little things yeah so yeah I, I think it's so cute and then um actually my very favorite one is the next one and i couldn't find so these are shots from a reel but it opens up and it's this tiny little fairy like fortune teller Oh, I see now. Yeah, it says readings. That's yeah. adorable. And it's, it's so cute. So cute. Yeah. So check them out. Um, I think they actually just dropped things for sale today. So um, I don't know what they go for because I can't look at stuff like that. Because <laughs> then I'll convince myself, oh, that's not bad. I could buy that right now. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah i think yeah. we're all we're all struggling with that yeah. <laughs> I think. so adorable it so is out i keep, 
I keep collecting, I have a small little collection of dollhouse furniture. So I know I'm, I'm not going to buy anything for like a teeny tiny cute fairy setup, but I, I want to get just the right cupboard and try to make my own little dollhouse. Mm -hmm. But I haven't, I haven't found the right piece of furniture yet. Yes, Heidi. Hi, Val. Hey, Val. All right. So you oh, have a medium must. I have a medium must. Uh, just a, a fun YouTube channel to share. Um, this is Louisa Sugden, and she loves to go antiquing, and she has a little um, cottage that uh, she bought where she's living in England now, but they're renovating it. So basically you can go to, go to her channel and this video here, this one, this is her most recent one and taking in Holt is great. Um, these snapshots are from it. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful little kind of like pop-up brocante um, in somewhere in England that she went to. Um, but she also has videos of the process, kind of the, um, uh, this progress, the progress of how their renovation is going for their little English cottage. So both are fun. I think you guys will like it. So the, and it's called elegantly knackered style. Elegantly knackered. Yes. It's very British. Very yeah. I, I say knackered all the time. And people are like, where are you from? I'm like here. I just read a lot of Britlet, okay? <laughs> All right. So that, that's the end of our regular. That's all our slides. So now we have oh to chat God. for half an hour. What are we going to talk about? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I did. So I, I went to a yard sale this weekend and it was in a, this grand old house that's in an older neighborhood and they were, had it set up for three days. So I was like, oh, there's going to be lots of cool stuff to see. Mm -hmm. it yeah. It, I was and we were there just an hour after it opened. So it wasn't like somebody came in the first hour and bought everything. It's just mm -hmm. there wasn't that much. I did find a couple things, though. I can show you. You want to share? Well, Shogun is on my list to watch, Jennifer. Is this a new show? Yes, I think it's on Hulu. Okay. All right, I'll check it out. It's on Prime. It's on oh. one of the things I've been watching, and it keeps mm -hmm. giving me ads for it, and I'm like, okay. But I did find a tin. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. You know, I love a 10. Oh, it's purdy. And my sister found some cool books. But I also found, for my craftiness, some little notes uh -huh. to use. I really like these. These, are, these seem very deco to me. Let me get just one. Oh, yeah. I think I've had one of those before. Um, I, those are to make like those really, um, those little like sponge cakes. Is that what those are for? Sponge cakes are jello. Oh, okay. Um, these are little, some kind of aspic. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. <gasps> you know what I should do? Maybe I should felt little turtles and make these their shell. That could be cute. That could be cute. I can't wait to do some felting with you. That's going to be fun. Felting. Or, or it's going to be awful. And I'm going to say that I'm. You know what? Awful. That's half the fun. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing. You just keep stabbing and you can change it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Just keep stabbing. Just keep stabbing. <laughs> but um, oh, let's see. What else is happening? What else is happening? I was watching um, an eBay reseller. 
Um, she's not really, I don't, I don't think, she, I don't think, I don't know if you guys watch her, um, Texas Gal Treasures, mm -hmm. but I just watched she, I mean, it was like a controversial kind of video where she got um, some comments on one of her videos and she's a bigger channel. She has like, I think over 50,000 subs. She's been around a long time, but she got scolded by this person in her comments saying, how dare you go to thrift stores and buy things to resell? Like it was the, this, this person's perception of what a thrift store is meant for had them scolding her as you know, that's not, that's, that's supposed to be for the needy. That's supposed to be for people in need. You're not supposed to be buying that and reselling it. And I, I mean, uh, the, the YouTuber, um, her name's Margaret, but she, she, like her response was, well, actually this process helped me get out of a horrible relationship. She'd been doing it forever. And she had personal reasons as to it helped her find the means to get out of an abusive marriage so that she could take her boys out of that. Like it gave her mm -hmm. means to support herself. Well, in I mean, need. Not, yeah. But even. Has, has has a meaning. I mean, it depends on the person. What in I need agree. means. I agree with that. But to me, I'm like, just beyond that. It was like her perception of what a thrift store is. And that's like, I'm like, I feel like, I think some people really need to be. I think we need to communicate to more people who don't understand thrift stores or something, but. For me, thrift stores are meant to uh, avoid waste, yeah. you know, to, to keep things out of the landfill, avoid waste. And most thrift stores are meant, are for profit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Or there, there is oh, a charity, oh. there's a charity attached to it. Like for the ARC, there's definitely charity yeah. attached to it. Most, most like religious based ones, there's a charity. A charity. Yeah, exactly. Like the church. Well, they're Good in well, for the now. Yeah. And when you give them stuff, you're giving them free product. Right. And most people who are re who choose to resell, it, it's, <laughs> I, I just don't think, I don't know, I felt, I felt bad. And granted, and it, it, I don't think it was like, you know, people say, don't listen to trolls. It was like legit, this person was, decided that I, what she was doing was terribly wrong. Pretty much anybody who hits a certain point, I think, in followers gets that at some point in time. They're like, how dare you? Like, but listen, I'm not taking. Everyday hey, necessities yeah. and bumping up that price. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. If they're going to the thrift store for clothing, bedding housewares mm -hmm. you know exactly colleen great point colleen is it i have a full-time job and it is not enough i, mean, I know that that's why i have one two three three and a half side hustles okay mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and if my body would allow me to just work a whole other full-time job i would mm -hmm. but i can't so that's mm. how I ended up on this YouTube situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reseller thing. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I felt bad that that was, that that can be some people's perception of just even like what it's meant for. Yeah. That would be, no, the only thing, say you went to like, a mission where they're giving away things mm -hmm. and you go and you take oh, that and sell it. That's a, that's an abuse of the, yes, that's an abuse of, of, of charity. Yeah. yeah. The abuse of the generosity. Yes. I, I would agree with that. <laughs> right. Right. Sheila, some of the prizes at these thrift stores, they're not for the people. Right. In need. Right. Like, right. It, that's another good point. It's like how, I mean, I don't know if this person really goes to the thrift stores or understands that some of the, some of the prices really 
Mm-hmm. They don't they don't seem like they are pricing the items for those in need to yeah. begin with. Definitely not. Yeah. You're I mean, you can't live on the internet, unfortunately, without finding people who are angry at you. Right. So just yeah. Be true to yourself and your moral compass and let the rest of it just. I don't think I'll ever get enough followers for that to be a problem. But, you know, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mia. Hi, Mia. Most of them are going to their own eBay area. Mm Mm-hmm. Scott's on a mission for bubble wrap. Oh, thanks, babe. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. <laughs> I sent him a text. Don't um, pop the bubbles. I, yeah, I sent him a text of, uh, about four, well, like an hour, an hour before our thing. And I put SOS, make bubble wrap. <laughs> and hey, Lynn came in earlier too. Yeah. So many faces that I haven't seen in a while. Oh, I keep missing. There she is. Hey, Shelly. It, it is, Colleen. It's so easy for people to be angry from behind a computer screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, so far I haven't had that sort of thing either. Like, I, I just don't have enough subs where I think like people have really decided to be like, this is wrong. What you're doing is wrong or whatever you look wrong. Your nails look terrible. Like some people say, oh, people complain about the nails or they complain about, you know, whatever it is. And so far I have not had that sort of negativity uh, in, in my comments, but I hear, I hear the bigger you get, the more that happens. <laughs> yeah. So the one, t- so it's funny. The one time I had a troll was on my um, crafty Facebook page. It was during the pandemic. And I, while well, while redoing the craft room that I had um, where I lived before, I discovered these cassette tape maracas that I had made. And my niece, who was like one at the time, absolutely loved it. And she was shaking it. So I did a quick tutorial video of like, this is how you take a cassette tape, you open it, you take the guts out, except for the little wheels, and then you fill it with seed beads. You put it back together and it makes a fun little oh, maraca. Mm-hmm. I called it mixtape maraca because you know, you know how I like the alliteration. Yes, yes. And um, this guy gets on my Facebook page on that video. How dare you ruin those cassette tapes? Cassette tapes. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> and I was like, Well, first of all, these cassette tapes were in the trash. They were in the literal trash at my job because we didn't need them anymore. And some of them needed to be destroyed. And so I just destroyed them in a fun way. (laughs) And and like, like I wasn't, I wasn't going to engage. I was just, but then I had friends. They were like, listen, what? Because I have friends who who have worked in like, um, not waste management, but recycling. And they were like. (laughs) Do you know how many of those things end up in the landfill? Does those one end up in the landfill now? Right. And you, if somebody is in a mood to have an opinion, they will have an opinion. So, yeah. You know, you know what they say about opinions. What do they say? Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody <laughs> has one, and some of them stink. <laughs> oh, that's the part I forgot. <laughs> yes, blasphemy. And I was like, I was like, you want to pay me for these cassette tapes? Because otherwise, <laughs> Jennifer's gun calls. Yes, it's gun calls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Anyway, 
it's the same thing. Um, um, there's a one of the girls that I became friends with who's on whatnot. She did books, like she would take books and do them too, and she got so much gruff about. I was like, it's like, do you know how many books? Just, I mean, it's not like they're first edition mm-hmm. things that are hard to find. These are books that you can readily find available. So mm-hmm. it's yeah. people, people will people. <laughs> they love me. But I'm just I'm just staring at your pretty luster behind you. Yeah. It's so, it's really pretty. I mean, like a lot, of, a lot of the gold paint is faded or worn off, but it's still so pretty. Yeah, there's some, <laughs> speaking of, I've been trying to avoid Facebook Marketplace because, again, it shows me things that I want to buy that I shouldn't. But there was this pair of green cut to clear mantle lusters. Ooh. And they hadn't been turned into lamps. Oh, pretty. Yeah. And I think they only wanted 75 for the pair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no. I I kind of feel that too, Amy. Uh, just, I usually like to avoid conflict, but it does, it does seem like, you know, there, there's a lot of misunderstanding. Yeah. There are ways to, you know, challenge people's not beliefs really but assertions without it turning into a conflict mm-hmm. yeah and, and they were they were also talking in the chat about how you know they're not understanding that looking up prices the the differences between solds and and an ask out of thin air and the fact that when you're listing online, you've got a much larger audience you're pulling from a worldwide uh, audience of eyeballs looking at items versus a store in one little town, you know, thinking that they should be pricing their item at the the same as uh, an eBay listing or somebody else's listing online. We just had a situation. Oh, okay. Are we are we recovered? No. I have to go get some paper towels. I'll oh, well, really quick. Let's do our quote and then we'll say goodbye and then you can. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this is just a fun quote I found for spring. It says, don't wait for someone to bring you flowers. Plant your own garden and decorate your own soul. Good advice. Yeah. You'll have a lot more flowers. Don't listen to the haters. Go to the thrift shop. Yeah, exactly. Buy the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. It's when they, yeah, it's when they dig in and they send you like a thesis. <laughs> that's, that's when I'm like, hey, Karina. I'm 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 glad you have strong feelings, but I don't need to hear them. Don't. <sighs> did you did you bring a favorite thing or anything? No, you, but you're welcome, Karina. Uh, I just thought of you, so I wanted to give that to you. Um, do you have a favorite thing? No. Okay. I just 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 my new tin and my dress. <laughs> it's a wonderful new thing. But yeah, I'm sure I have new things. I just I didn't I didn't think or, or grab one specifically. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Life it's is fun. too short, Sheila. Listen, my energy is precious. I don't want to waste it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Negativity. Hmm. 
but you have a sale on Sunday? I do. I have a sale on Sunday and on Monday. Um, after our chat on Monday, I am going to try. Um, I'm going to be on a vamp blitz. Ooh. It's just a half an hour. So I figure I can, I can survive half an hour trying to sell on the phone, but it's going to be, I'm, I'm going to be uncomfortable. I know. Are you going to do like a, a test run or anything? No, they, they I mean, they basically give you like, um, kind of like an onboarding of this is how you list. This is how you go live. But I think that's it. I mean, I think I'm just going to be flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> Sometimes that's the way to go. Yeah. I, I mean, it'll. I mean, that's what we did on our first. <laughs> We're like, <laughs> let's, let's just get on YouTube and talk to each other. Let's see what yeah. happens. Exactly. We're approaching two years. I know. Two years. Bonkers. I know. Absolutely bonkers. But I hope that everyone has a great week. Any exciting things coming up for anybody? Does anybody want to share anything coming up? Yeah, I don't. I don't I don't have anything. I nearly talked myself into having a sale, but we're not doing that. <laughs> Well, I hope everyone has a great week. Uh, though actually, I did pick out two Halloween postcards that I'm willing to part with. So, what? You're yes. are you putting them in your case? Yeah. Do you, Do you need to see them? <laughs> I think a lot of people here might want to just take a peek. You know, I can go grab them. I mean, don't you guys, aren't you guys curious now that we know, because I don't know if you guys remember, but Angela scored a pile of uh, albums of postcards that she got a great deal on. And there were several Halloween postcards. Actually, in, in, the in the albums, there was only one Halloween postcard. Oh. But then we went to a bottle show. Oh. And this oh. guy had postcards and he was like. I remember now. He's like, listen, he's yeah. like, you, you look like someone who would like Halloween postcards. Because <laughs> I had on what I call my witchy leggings. Yeah. So, uh, Karina does not believe that you are in a state of <laughs> of health. The fact know. that you are willing to give these postcards up. <laughs> Battery's dead. But no fever, I swear. <laughs> um, so the first one, um, it's from 1911. They're both postmarked. Do you want to make me big? You can make me big. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Um, Hold and on. it was sent in Steubenville, Ohio on October 30th of 1911. And this one just has, it has, oh, let's pull it up. Oh, my God. A little bit of damage. What? I guarantee, I guarantee you several of us want this. So she's got, I don't know if that's a wand or a knife. And then there's like <laughs> look, look, a, look. a tower of sugar. Um, <laughs> there's a black cat. There's, there's a kid in a pumpkin. There's a black cat. Do you see? Catherine Young is literally. And there's like a keyhole. And then look, look here. It's one of those old school Halloween lanterns. Oh my God! Is it? Put it closer. Put it closer. Oh my God! And then down in the corner, see this is the damage. There's just I a little see, damage see. right here. Yeah, I see. But uh, there's a little bat on a branch. Oh, and that looks embossed. It's all embossed. Like you can see the embossing. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. So there is that one, and it didn't have any name or anything. I only found one similar to it who's gonna sell this peppermint patty <laughs> i'm gonna sell it and then this one is in like almost pristine condition there's just a little bit of uh squidgy on the sides and they're are, we, are you selling these for more than 40 dollars? yes how much are you selling them <laughs> Catherine's Catherine, oh, she's, it. she's like <laughs> she's slapping it down <laughs> That's the way. 
That's okay. where you know how to get in touch with me. <laughs> um, and then this one, this one is really great. So it's a ducking for apples. Oh yeah, so it's got the there's oh, there's so a wet. spider web there. Mm -hmm. There's outline of a witch, black cat. Yeah, the kids. And this one um, was postmarked uh, in 1909. Miss Birdie, Birdie. Hey, MJ. <laughs> they all they all want you to be like, okay, offers in, offers in. <laughs> Okay. I will entertain your offer. <laughs> Just send me a message. But yeah, but this one's embossed too. The embossing isn't as um, stark as on the other one. Yeah, I see. But but yeah, it's in it's in amazing condition. Yeah, that like, printing like there's barely any. Yeah, the silver silver ink. foil. Yeah. The silver ink on it it looks, yeah. looks really good. Oh, there's a little spider. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Ah, bobbing for apples. So cool. So, yeah. There's... Because I need to make money, you know? I understand. You are trying to fund several things. Several things. Well, and like defund other things. That's that's the main. <laughs> need to fund past habits. But. Yeah. But Malcolm is here, hopefully not peeing on other things. Um, mm -hmm. Halloween, yes. Yes. That's Hallowed evening. All, yes, All Hallows evening. Yeah. It, it was, no, yeah, it was called ducking. <laughs> hmm. I don't I don't remember when it changed from ducking to bobbing. I wonder if it was just due to a translation from one language to another. Because the apples bob, but you're ducking. But you're ducking. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Hmm. She's like, yeah, I, I'm never typing ducking. No, but autocorrect thinks I am. <laughs> it, it thinks I spend a lot of time around ducks. <laughs> it's, uh, it's funny. If you curse while you're doing talk to text while you're driving, it, it put asterisks in. Oh, really? The Grolix, which if you didn't know, the term for like the replacing an expletive with like characters is called a Grolix. Okay. And yeah, it, it does it to me. I was like, my autocorrect and my talk to text, they're prudes. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just Google. <laughs> All right. Make yourself big and we'll say goodbye. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's, there we go. Well, I'm glad you got to tempt all of us with the beautiful Halloween postcards. <laughs> well, well, it'll be I'm, 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 gonna get down. I'm, I'm pulling things out of my glowy gas cabinet for somebody to look at so really i'm i'm yeah but not my favorites mm -hmm. that's why i have to stand there and stare at it and be like okay what do i mm -hmm. what have i not used within the last year that's what i'm yeah, I guess we should just say goodbye. I was going to. All right. Because we can keep. Yeah, we're going to just keep going. So. Heather's like, we're going to end early. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, I Have a fantastic yeah. evening, everybody. Have a great yeah. week. Have and a wonderful week. Next uh, Monday. Yes, we will see you next Monday on Angela's channel. Uh, come visit me on Sunday. And right now. Uh, and Amber Amy is going to be over on Jason uh, Mother Tucker's Antiques for her sale uh, with Jason and Bill. Uh, so go visit her. And if you are would rather, instead of looking at uh, vintage cool things and you want to look at jewelry, go over to Mia's channel. <laughs> she said she was taking tonight off. Oh, she was? Yeah. That's why she was here. Oh, I missed it. Never mind. Go see Jason. See Mia next week. <laughs> yeah. Bye, go. everybody. Bye, guys. 
Love you. Hope you hope you do something fun this week. Go do something fun. Go thrift something. <laughs>